Let's talk a little bit about spruce gall adelgids. On Colorado blue spruce, you will often see great big brownish reddish colored galls hanging off the ends of the shoots. That's caused by a native insect called the Cooley spruce gall adelgid. It's an insect that overwinters in an immature stage and then the immature stage matures into the stem mother fairly early in the spring. The stem mother produces offspring that actually cause the gall to form. If you're going to get control of Cooley spruce gall adelgid, you have a couple of different options. If you don't have a really big population in your field or only a few trees are affected, you can actually go through the block of trees or go through the field of trees, clip off the green gall sometime around the end of June, 4th of July, that sort of time period, collect those green galls and destroy them. If you wait until the galls start to turn brownish red and open up, all the little adelgids that are developing inside will have emerged and you will have lost that opportunity. Your best window of opportunity to control Cooley spruce gall adelgid on spruce is going to be early in the spring. You want to target the stem mother with your insecticide. Keep in mind there are very few if any predatory insects that want to feed on gall adelgids and so usually we talk about ways to conserve predatory insects or even parasitoid wasps. In this case there really aren't any predators to speak of so if you see the coolies population starting to build up in your field. First try the cultural controls, clip off the green galls, destroy them, and if you need to come back with an insecticide. Cooley's gall adelgid will also attack Douglas fir trees, but the damage it causes is very different. There is actually no gall formed whatsoever. Instead, when this insect gets onto Douglas fir trees, they will feed on needle tissue and instead of causing a gall to form, the insect itself will secrete a little white wax around itself. And when you see a tree that's infested, the needles will have a number of these little balls that looks like little tiny cotton balls, if you want to think of it that way. Every one of those is an adelgid, and every time they poke their mouth parts into the needle, they kill a little spot of tissue, which causes the needle to bend. When infestations are heavy, the needles look very distorted, the tree is going to grow more slowly, and it's going to be very unattractive if the populations get high enough. On Douglas fir, there's two generations of Cooley's gall adelgid. One is going to be active early in the, the, the summer or late spring, and what you want to look for are the immature stages, and it's going to look like somebody shook black pepper on the needles. Um, they don't have the white, woolly, waxy stuff on them yet. It's going to be little black spots on the needles. They're very vulnerable at that stage. If you need to use an insecticide or even an oil, that's the stage to target. Later in the summer, sometime around mid-July, late July, there's going to be a second generation, and again, you're going to see the white, woolly adelgids that are, are already feeding and already mature, but you're going to see these little black immature stages, and that's the second window where they're very vulnerable to things like insecticides. If you need to control adelgid, that's your two chances to do it. Another concern with adelgid, particularly on Douglas fir trees, is that you don't want to spray the same insecticide more than once or twice. You need to rotate your classes of insecticides. It's an insect that we know develops resistance to certain kinds of insecticide products. For example, if you use Lorsban one time, switch to a pyrethroid insecticide, switch to Tempo or Tallstar the second time. Make sure that you're rotating those through, make sure that your timing is good, and again, it's a little tiny insect, so your coverage has to be really good if you're going to get adequate control.